Good morning! I have an amazing mod to show you. Uh, this is a really cool RPG mod that adds some effects and some more usefulness to armor sets in this game. So it's a complete overhaul, and these are the words of the creator, a complete overhaul for Valheim's armor system with the goal of making each armor set viable all the way to the end of the game. So basically, it's, it's a way to make you not want to throw away your bronze gear or your leather gear or that kind of stuff because it's not useful anymore. It still has different effects. So for example, and we'll get into the details, but the troll hide set is a bowman set. It increases bow-related stats and has archery-related effects. So not only... Are there different effects to each armor set in different categories, but each armor set can be up-tiered, which increases all of the pieces' stats to be usable in the next tier of gameplay. So that that just allows you to take your leather gear into the end game and have it be useful because you can up-tier it. There's also a lot of options for customization, for balance, to balance the material costs, the effectiveness, and it looks like almost every armor stat in just a JSON file. One thing to note is about the bows, and this is a quote from the mod author's post. To prevent bowmen from being the end-all class, the bowman weapon type has been slightly nerfed by having movement speed while the bow is drawn. This can be mitigated by wearing silver armor, or if you don't like it at all, you can remove it by setting a setting to 1 in the, in the balance.json file. So it does nerf the bow class a little bit, but not too much, and you can change it all you want. So without any other caveats, let's get started. For the iron set, the helmet increases two-handed weapon damage by 14%. The scale mail increases stamina by 20 points. The greaves increase stamina regen by 11%, and the locks cape food fullness degrades 20% slower. For the leather helmet, axe damage is increased by 7%. The leather tunic, dodge stamina is reduced by 10%. The leather pants, movement speed is increased by 3%. And the deer hide cape, movement speed is increased by 5%. So those are both of the Berserker sets. Now let's get into the Bowman sets. The Bowman set is actually pretty straightforward, but it has a few cool tweaks that really add some fun to these sets. So they, these sets focus on uh, bows, obviously, as well as daggers and spears. They also focus on ammo consumption, backstab bonuses, and sneaking. This set has the worst armor rating in the game, however. You get this by wearing the Troll Leather set or the Silver set. So let's dig into the armor sets here. The Troll Leather Helmet uh, increases bow damage by 7%. The Troll Leather Tunic gives you a 10% chance not to consume ammo. The Troll Leather Pants gives you an increase in damage for daggers and spears by 7%. And the Troll Hide Kate doubles your backstab damage bonus. For the Silver set, the Drake Helmet gives bows, daggers, and spears an additional 8% damage as Holy and Frost damage. The Warp Armor Chest gives 13% chance not to consume ammo. The Wolf Armor Legs make you move 15% faster with the drawn bow. And the Wolf Fur Cape make all weapons gain 4 holy damage. Last but not least is the Shield Brother class. The Shield Brothers are adept at blocking and have increased health. They can effectively deal damage with all melee weapons, but they're slower than the other classes. Uh, they do have the highest armor rating in the game, though. You get this by wearing the Bronze set or the Padded set. So let's check those out. The Bronze Helmet gives an increase to melee damage of 4%. For the Bronze Plate Curious, the stamina cost for blocking is reduced by 15%. And for the Bronze Plate Leggings, your HP is increased by a flat 10. 
With the padded helmet, your melee damage is increased by 5%. The padded curious increases your block power by 20%. The padded greaves increases your stamina regen by 20%. And the Linen Cape reduces stamina for all melee weapons by 20%. Each class also has set bonuses. The Berserker class has a Lifesteal set bonus or a Crit Chance set bonus, depending on what you're wearing. The Bowman has a Sneak Increased set bonus or a Damage Increased While Crouched set bonus, depending on what you're wearing. And the Shield Brothers have an increased HP regen set bonus, or a thorn set bonus, based on what you're wearing. So I just wanted to talk for a second about the up tiering. As you get through the game, and you start to need better stats out of your gear, you can up tier these pieces of gear. And what that means is you can improve the stats, and the effects, and the armor of all the gear that you're wearing. So, for example, up tiering the bronze helmet to become an iron reinforced bronze helmet. You combine a bronze helmet, some iron, and some deer hide at the forge. You increase its base armor from 15 to 19, and its 5% melee damage bonus increases to a 7% melee damage bonus. So this is really nice in guaranteeing that you aren't going to be throwing away tiers of gear because you've outgrown them. So the installation for this mod is a little bit different than others because it relies on more than just Bepinex. It also relies on Valheim Lib and Hook Gen Patcher. And I'll put all the links in the description. There's also going to be a link to a document on how to install this properly and get it to work. Um, it's, it's not all that complicated, it's just different than all the other standard Bepinex mods because it does have some different dependencies. So, check out the link if you're having trouble installing it. I know that was a lot of ground to cover. I appreciate you guys sticking with me through it. This is a really in-depth mod, but it adds so much, so much depth to the game. Highly recommend you download this. One of the best RPG mods out there right now. The developer does have some future plans, so I'm excited to see what they have in mind. And as far as I can tell, there's no compatibility issues. There is a note about epic loot. It may be compatible, but there may be balance issues if both are installed. I could definitely see that. Uh, because this does add some pretty hefty game mechanics. Uh, installing epic loot alongside that could could kind of break the game a little bit if you're not careful. So, Anyways, hope you enjoyed this mod highlight. I absolutely love this mod. I think everybody should download it. It adds a certain level of depth to the game. It adds usefulness to gear sets that I wasn't using before. That I absolutely will be now. So, thank you Das Sauerkraut. And happy modding, everyone.